All right, so we got our brand new 2021 Beta 430. Just got dropped off from the shipping company. Brand new zero miles, and if anybody has a massive hard on to ride this bike, it's me. But before we do that, we're gonna go through a couple things uh, when you get a new bike. So before you take a new bike out and ride it, you definitely wanna check the engine oil, check make sure that there's gear oil in it, check and make sure that the air filter is seated correctly. If all that's good, we're gonna start it up, let it do a passive reset. And while it's doing a passive reset, we're just gonna run around the bike with an eight and a 10 millimeter. Just make sure everything's tight. Make sure the brakes work. Make sure all the levers are tight. Make sure the axles are tight and uh, take it out for a ride. Okay, everything checked out. All the fluids are where they should be. Air filter sealed in real nice. It's time to uh, start this thing up first time. Now a quick note on these bikes, these do not have an idle adjustment, they have a stepper motor in the throttle body and that stepper motor needs to be recalibrated when you change altitudes and or massive temperatures. So what we're going to do is start the bike up and let it run until the fan comes on, shut it off and then our passive reset will be complete. Sweet looking bike. They got a light on, I'm guessing it's just a little fuel. Yeah, so we'll top the fuel off here after it's done doing the passive reset. Good sounding bike. I did find wrong this thing was laying I'm guessing this is the hook of a battery tender this was laying right on the exhaust and it was just starting to smoke by the time I caught it so had I just went out and ridden this thing I might have shorted this out caught it caught the short at the battery blew the fuse and then stuck on the side of the road so always go through your new bikes before you take them out and ride them we're gonna zip tie this up either underneath the seat or over here somewhere where it's out of the way
like an XR400 or a DRZ, it's just butter smooth. For once a guy can actually just relax his throttle wrist and just ride it. Not have to run the clutch all the time every time you're off or on the throttle. Definitely too long for dirt riding. The Beta does give you a 13 tooth in the box when you buy the bike. This mirror is so flimsy. Once I get up to 50 miles an hour, it's just going to go like this. just stopped here for a break just rolled over 19 miles on the odometer the uh, speedometer quit I stopped in at the dealership and they said to make sure that the wheel speed sensor has 40 thousandths clearance and also to check the speedometer wiring up underneath here apparently some dealerships are putting them together a little too fast and some wires are getting pinched off so when I get back home I'm gonna pull this headlight call off and check and see if we can figure out why the speedometer isn't working if it turns into be a nightmare I'll just take it in for uh, warranty work. Well, sure are nice here in Wisconsin. In the 10 minutes I've been sitting here, I had two people stop and make sure that I was okay.
just wanted to putt here for a second and talk about something really important. I had serious buyer's remorse when I bought the CRF 450L for 2019. That thing was so jerky. And after spending about 1700 bucks to get it to run right, I was so mad I didn't even want it anymore. And even with the 2020 WR450F, I had a little bit of buyer's remorse. I didn't like how racy it was, and it was just kind of perky, jerky throttle. It's a race bike. I mean, it's a motocross bike that they tried to make set up for a GNCC, and it's not a not a trail bike. This is a trail bike that can be raced. This is exactly what I wanted. So just putting around on this thing in first gear, it's so mild. It's just a big sissy cat. It's so easy to ride. Even if we load the motor up, it's not jerky at all. It's just butter smooth throttle control, period. It's a throttle control of some of the newer EFI bikes. If you don't like it and it's bothering you, look at one of these betas because if I was blindfolded and somebody put me on this bike, I'd think it was a car bike that was jetted perfectly. Absolutely love it. Gonna roll into her a little bit here. until about half throttle it kind of starts to come on I did spend some time about 50 60 miles an hour on the bike and it felt really smooth on the road I can't wait to get it on the dirt just have to ride around town for a couple hours let the motor break in a little bit do our first oil change after three hours and then gonna head to the trail but this thing is so comfortable and easy to ride I just might ride it in until the sun goes down <laughs> at this point I think I'm glad I didn't get the 390 this motor does like to rev But you don't need to rev it if you don't want to. It lugs around in the low RPM just fine. The uh, exhaust has a really nice note to it. Got like a KTM. Not too loud. And also the, my current bike is a YZ250FX which has a lot of intake noise. And this thing is so much quieter. I think box stock out of the crate. This bike doesn't need anything. I haven't had it in the dirt yet. I've just had it on the road. But this is the first time I've ever bought a brand new bike, and I not felt the need to change anything. You just want to cruise and be really mild. It's first ride about 30 miles the only thing I found unacceptable about this bike so far is this hand grip is loose from the factory I can just twist it so that needs to be fixed that's kind of dangerous and this so there wasn't really barely any grip glue on there so this is an old-timers trick but essentially what you do is wrap your grip in 
electrical tape and just on the end here I usually go around a couple times fill your grip up with gas dump the gas out or just get some grip just get some gas in your grip dump that gas out and then slide your grip on I've been doing that for 20 years and never had a grip come loose so we'll try that so it's still the same day that I bought the bike I just don't want to put it in the garage just when I thought it couldn't get any better I changed from the 15 tooth to the 13 tooth front sprocket that came in the box from Beta and it's even smoother than it was before now because you don't get all that torque off the bottom and I was thinking about there was one thing I could say to sum this bike up lots and lots of manageable power more power up high than down low but still enough torque to just grunt around very easy to ride the ergonomics feel great it doesn't feel heavy when you're throwing it around I haven't had it in the dirt yet the closest dirt's about an hour and a half away from my house so hopefully tomorrow or the next day I'll get to take it out in the dirt and see how the suspension is I can definitely say the suspension is soft just riding around town going over railroad tracks and bumps and stuff it's pretty pretty soft 